you have good cross face and his arm ends up across there. Happy days. You can go for that submission. Um, you can go triangle either with your legs. You can just move your way up the body when his arm is trapped and start going for your arm bars and stuff. Um, it's a good one to get his head and his arm together in any sort of situation. Sometimes he just makes a mistake and puts the arm in there. Sometimes you can set it up yourself. Next one up, if he turns, if you, actually, if you turn that way a little bit, anytime he's on his side a little bit and you start to maybe try to push your knee in, you might go technical mount or you might set this up before you get there. But if you can get behind his elbow in any way and force it across further than he wants it to go, we can go for the gift wrap. I know we've done this the other morning, but we'll go on it again. If we can just get this grip, it's really, really beneficial for you. Shuts down a lot of his options. You can chair sit to the back. You can step over the arm, go for your triangle. You can go for your arm bars. Um, a lot of finishes you can do from here. But the idea is just his elbows here. Just get it to go a little bit further than it wants to go. Push your body behind it so he doesn't rewind it. Gather in the arm and then we're good to go. Don't force the chair sit. If I have this and say if you put your back almost on the ground, but if we're in this sort of position, you try to go behind him. Sometimes you just mess the whole thing up and he ends up on top of clothes guard. So if you want the back taken in particular, make sure enough of his back is exposed. If he puts his back on the ground, the back take isn't there, you can still attack the triangle, you can still attack the arm bar, whatever you want. But just one last time, he pushes in on the hip safe for a knee elbow, up on your side, get behind the elbow and get the arm across yourself. And just gather it in. And then any submission you want from there. On two guys, one two.